Welcome back to Black News Tonight. The island nation of Fiji is dealing with a surge of new coronavirus cases as we take a look at the headlines of the black world and around the diaspora. There have been more than 130 new cases reported in a 24-hour period in Fiji, according to Ministry of Health Permanent Secretary Dr. James Fong. As of 8 a.m. local time, officials say there have been 63 cases in Fiji's Western Division, 66 cases from the Central Division, and two cases from the Eastern Division. As of today, less than half of the total population of Fiji has been vaccinated against COVID-19, with slightly under 870,000 doses administered throughout the country. Fiji recently recorded its youngest victim in the battle against the deadly virus. Health officials confirmed that a six-month-old child died from complications due to COVID-19. There have been 538 total coronavirus deaths in Fiji since the start of the pandemic. In the world of sports, a Ghanaian Olympian is taking his hands to the next level. Fresh off of a Olympic bronze medal for Ghana, the first in almost 30 years, 20-year-old boxer Samuel Taki is aiming for the professional ranks. The Ghanaian featherweight, who trains in Accra, the capital of Ghana, shook up the world this summer in Tokyo when he medaled and made history for the West African state. He was also the only African boxer to capture a medal during the Tokyo Olympics. After earning bronze, Taki joined me on Black News tonight and shared how he felt about the accomplishment. Samuel, let me start with you again. Congrats. How do you feel about this accomplishment? I feel very good and I'm so happy. And you know, first of all, thank God, I feel very, very happy because I've made my country proud and my family proud. So I feel very happy. Egypt. An ancient tomb of a pharaoh has been unlocked. Today, archaeological officials in Egypt showcased the 4,700-year-old step pyramid of the ancient Egyptian King Djoser, built during King Djoser's reign from 2067 to 2648 BC during the Third Dynasty. This southern tomb is King Djoser's second one and is smaller compared to the royal tomb. Some researchers believe it was built to preserve the king's internal organs, but others, other researchers in particular, say it was built symbolically. According to an archaeological official, the tomb underwent renovation for 15 years. It's now open to the public. In an effort to carry out justice for two Kenyan groups, the United Nations is looking into failure to pay reparation claims against the UK. President Uhuru Kenyatta's administration has given information to the United Nations about Kenyan communities forcibly removed from their native land, which lies in a major tea region. According to the letter addressed to the UN, Kenyan officials claim the British government refuses to resolve these injustices. The UN is now looking into whether the British government has provided any form of reparation and help to the Talai and Kipsigis communities of Kenya. All, both of those groups suffered, quote, gross human rights violations and forcible evictions over a century ago. Over in Europe, new policing laws in the UK could effectively discriminate against black communities there. And the British government claims that this discrimination would be objectively justified. According to the British Home Office, the proposed serious violence reduction orders under the Police Crime Sentencing and Courts Bill would allow police to stop people based on their previous record and search them out without even reasonable grounds. Officials from the agency admitted that this would have an outsized impact on black people in the UK, but insisted that since black people there have a higher murder rate than whites, such measures would ultimately help to prevent violence in black communities. David Lammy, a British uh, labor MP, has blasted the proposal saying, quote, it basically the conservatives think black lives matter less. Current data from the UK shows that black people there are already nine times more likely to be stopped and searched by police than whites. Whew. Coming up later on the show, Colin Kaepernick, he has a Netflix series on the way and he just released the first trailer for it. I'll tell you more about it when we hit those digital streets. But coming up next, Stars has a new drama series produced by 50 Cent and inspired by one of the most powerful crime families in U.S. history. It's called Black Mafia Family. And one of its leading stars, actor Russell Hornsby, stops by with the details. You don't want to miss it. Stay with me.